couldn't tell by the title or the intro to this video, I made a shotgun course. And I'm telling you guys right now, you won't find a better, more fun, or challenging shotgun course in all of Fortnite Creative. This map combines basically every aspect of gameplay and shotgun scenarios you can come across and need to practice. It should take you anywhere from 5 to 8 minutes to complete, depending on how fast you can edit and how good your aim is. So the code will be in the description of the video as well as on the screen right now. To play the course, just go up to a featured rift in the creative hub and interact with it, and put in the code. It should read, it's Jerrion's shotgun course, with my creator code, Jerrion Grant, on top of that. After that, you'll load in and you'll need to press escape and on the start game button, because if you don't, you won't be able to edit or build. When you first start the game, open the chest and you'll get a gold heavy shotgun. Now you can start the timer and you're off to the races. The first section is a straight edit section with walls and ramps. A little key for this course is that any metal structures you find will probably be editing. At the end of each edit is a target so make sure you destroy every single one. You'll probably notice that the heavy shotgun spread is pretty tight so you need to be accurate or you won't fully destroy the target even if you hit it. The next section is another edit section on the side of the hallway. You can use any type of edit whether it be window edits or Dorito edits. Just make sure you keep track of how much ammo you have as well as the shotgun delay if you're swapping the builds or edits. After that, you'll move on to the first of numerous ice tracks in the course. This one is a basic ice track with targets inside. They shouldn't be too hard to hit as you go by, especially if you slow yourself down a bit. Then you're going to move upwards, editing codes and floors in the way with a target at the end of each. The next section is one of the most useful as it makes you practice the Tifu Classic. The Tifu Classic is when you're above someone and jump up, hit them with your shotgun, and build the floor below you so you can block their return fire. If this isn't in your game already, I'd suggest focusing on this part and mastering it. Next up is another editing section with the edits are on the floor and above you. Each edit is a floor and cone with the target underneath. For the ones on the floor, you'll need to re-edit the cone or floor in order to walk back over it. The second ice section is a little harder than the first. Instead of the targets on the side, there will be targets below you that you'll need to jump over and hit. I found it easiest to jump pretty early to try to hit the targets as you're going over the holes. And now you can see on the mountain, I had to plug my cheeky little creator code. Jerry and Grant in the item shop, by the way. Up next is one of my favorite parts of the course. Each room has a robot with an assault rifle and a pre-built wooden wall. The best practice is waiting for the robot to shoot the wall out, then get a shot in, and build before you get shot. You can also edit and re-edit on the robot to destroy the targets, but it's completely up to you. This section requires you to build up and drop down onto the target. You can either do just a ramp or a ramp with a floor. The third section is unique as the targets are above you and on the back of the wall. So go in backwards to try and hit each target. After that is more ramps, but this time the target's underneath them, so you have to hit them midair after going off the ramp, or you can wait to come down and just build and then finish them off. In this section, there's more robots with the focus of this drill being to peek over and hit each target. You can also practice hitting the robot and building against it while peeking. Hall of Just Targets is a free build section where you should hit the target first and then build, otherwise you build over them and they will get destroyed without you shooting. Then, 
like every sweaty course, you need a 90 section. The way it was built is that you should do 390s up and then build a ramp out, then do it again for a total of 4 sets of 390s. There's also a target at the end of each set of 90s. If it sounds a little confusing, just watch how I do it, because it's not really that hard. This section is probably the coolest in the course. I saw it in a Tito video, so shout out to him. The bouncer send you diagonal, and you have to line up your shot while getting sent across to the next one. It's extremely fun and not really as easy as it looks. Then we have the last ice section. This one's a little harder, as I tried to make the targets harder to hit. As we get to the end of the course, we have the typical edit down section with floors and ramps. Then I added a drop down section without targets, which I probably could have added them, but honestly, there's no real challenge in hitting them standing still. Finally, there's one last edit down section. To finish it off, there's a cool little bouncer track that sends you to the beginning. Make sure you run straight into the middle of the bouncer or you'll get stuck on the floor. This is one of my better times, even though I think I missed two or three targets total. Let me know your best times, especially if you hit every single target. And maybe we can get some sort of competition started in the comments. So, if you guys enjoyed the course, feel free to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. I upload educational content two to three times a week. Other than that, follow me on Twitter at It's Jarian, and I'll see you guys in the next one. No. <laughs> no, I didn't.